Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design the body of non-return valve in cryoparametric. So let's get started. So this is the part and if you see the section view, it looks like this. Now let's see the drawing. So this is the drawing. The drawing looks a bit complicated, but it is damn simple. So there are two major areas here. One is this one and another one is this one. So as usual, first you create all add material features and then you go with these remove material features. So let's start the part. But before I start, I will request all of you to please subscribe my channel first. This will be a great help and you can become my channel member to support the channel. Now let's start the part. And for this, first you go to new, part, solid, assign the name, uncheck use default template and say ok. Now from here, you assign the proper part template. So I will go with this template, this is a metric template and I will say ok. Now I will start this part with this revolve feature and for this I will go to revolve and to the front datum plane, normal, switch off all the datums. Now here you first place a datum center line just like this, then draw the first entity like this. Now this dimension is equal to this dimension dia 190, so make it 190, then this gap is 70, this dimension. So you have three dimensions here, 70, 140 and 210. So you either go with these two dimensions or these two dimensions. You cannot have all three dimensions because one dimension is over constant dimension. So in this case, I am going with this dimension, I will avoid 210. Now once your first entity is done, you draw this rough sketch. So for revolve feature, you need to draw half of the section. So draw the rough sketch. So start like this, go like this, this side, then this side, this side this side, this side, then come down, avoid equal constraint, go this side, then this side, then this and then close the sketch. Now apply the required constraint. So I see that this line and this line is equal because this dimension is also 20 and this is also 20. Now I will add the dimension. So from here, Till here, this is 140. Now this dimension is 20. This is 150. So if you see this dimension, 126 plus 12 this side and plus 12 this side is 126 plus 24, which is equal to 150. Now this is 124. This is 114 and this is 200. Now this dimension from here till here, this is 50. Then you have this dimension which is 25. Now the sketch is done, now just say OK and OK. So one feature is done, now this feature. And for this, once again, I will switch on all the datums. And then again, I will create this feature with a revolve feature. So I will go to the revolve again into the front datum plane, normal. I will switch off all the datums. Here also, I will first place a datum center line, just like this. Then I will draw the rough sketch. So I will start with line from here 
I will come down, then I will go like this, then down, then this side, this side and this side. Now this is 20 given here, then uh, this dimension from here till here, this is 140 and then this dimension, the dia is 200. So, make it 200. Then you have this dimension 114 and say okay. Okay. Now, the last feature which is this one. So, you can see here this gap is 3. That means from here this will be 78. So, from here till here it is 75 plus 3, 78. So, I will go for extrude, I will select this datum plane, normal, I will draw a circle here, somewhere here. Now, the dia of this circle is dia 25, so make it 25 and the gap is 22 from here, so 22 plus 38 which is nothing but 60. So, make it 60 and say ok. Now, this side 78, uncheck remove material and say ok. So, all add material features are done. Now, I will go with remove material feature. So, first I will create this feature and for this once again I will go to revolve. I will select this datum plane normal. Again, first you place a datum center line somewhere here. Then draw the rough sketch. So, start with line from here, come this side, go down, then this side, then come down this side, again down this side, then down this side and this side. Delete all equal constant if you have. So, I have equal constant here, I will delete this. Now, apply the dimension. So, this dimension is 6, this dia is 120, this is 126, Now, this is 100 and this is 90. Now, this gap from here till here, this is 38, then from here till here, this is 47. So, the sketch is done, now just say ok and ok. Now, go for view, sections and select the front datum plane, make it section A and ok. So, now you have this section. Now, the next thing is you need to remove this material. So, here I will use extrude cut to remove the material. So, I will go to extrude, I will select this face, normal. Now, here I will simply draw a circle, somewhere here. Now, the dia of this circle is 90. So, make it 90 and say ok. Flip the direction. Now, it is removing the material. Now, go for to selected and then you select this inner surface. Now, just say ok. Now, while creating this feature, you have to be very careful. So, if you go for to selected, 
and select this surface like this then it will cut the material till this end so while selecting the surface you need to be very careful you need to click this side not this side so click this side and you will get the required result so now if you go for section view you are getting this step which is nothing but this one but if you select surface this side it will remove this step also so add material features and remove material features are done now the next feature is these holes so for this i'll go to hole i'll select this top surface i'll switch on all the datums now these holes are m16 holes d15 and the positioning is diameter position so first change the placement make it diameter and then for diameter placement drag this handle to this center axis and this handle to this datum plane now this angle will be zero and this is dia 150 now the hole is standard hole m16 so change it to standard and from this drop down list you select m16 go with this now the depth which is 15 so make it 15 then go to shape and here you make it 14 say okay so this is the hole you are getting which is similar to this now this hole i will pattern it so i'll go to axis pattern and i'll select this center axis i will select 360 degree and six items this is okay and it is done similarly you have holes this side so one second go to hole this time you select this face one second this is a diameter position so go for diameter then drag this handle to this center axis and this handle to this datum plane this angle is zero and this dia is 150 now the whole dia is 18 so make it 18 and depth you make it 2 next say okay go for pattern axis pattern select this center axis 360 degree six items say okay now the same holes you have this side six holes dia 18 pcd 150 so what i will do is i will simply copy this feature control c and then i will paste it control v i will select this center axis first i'll say okay and then i will go for placement i will first select this face then i'll change to diameter i will drag this handle to this center axis and this handle to this datum plane angle once again it is zero and diameter again 150 now just say okay and the holes are done now the last hole is coming somewhere here so for this i'll simply switch on the center axis and then i'll go to the hole i'll select this face hold the control key and select this axis because it is a coaxial hole now the hole dia is m10 so go to the standard and select m10 from this list now this depth if you calculate it will be 28 so from here till here you need to calculate if you calculate it will be 28 say okay now the thread is throughout so modify this hole and go to the shape 
and here you make it 28 say okay so the thread is throughout so all add material features remove material feature and holes are done now the last feature is couple of rounds so add the round so first i will add rounds to this edge this is r10 hold the control key select this edge then this edge then this edge and this edge say okay Now I will go inside, so I will cut the section and here I will go to the round, I will select this edge, I will make it 6, the same round I will add here and I will say ok. Now one more round, somewhere here, so this round I will take 4 and I will say ok. Now the next round which is coming somewhere here, then here, this is 6, same round here and here, same round on this edge. Say ok. One more time round, this time you select this edge and then this edge. Say ok. Then the last round coming somewhere here. So go to the round, select this edge. This you make it. 10, say ok. So now if you go for section view, it looks like this, you have all the rounds applied. Now if I am missing any round, you can apply it. So the part is completely done and it was so simple. So that's it from this video. So this was the body of non-written wall in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.